점수 잡는 해커스 해커스 토이 실전 천재 3 리스닝 Test 6 Listening Test In this section, you must demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This section is divided into four parts and will take approximately 45 minutes to complete. Do not mark the answers in your test book. Use the answer sheet that is provided separately. Part 1 Directions For each question, You will listen to four short statements about a picture in your test book. These statements will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the statement that best describes what is happening in the picture and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on the answer sheet. Look at the picture below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. The man is looking at the monitor. B. The man is sitting at the desk. C. The man is typing a letter. D. The man is holding a cup. The statement that best describes the picture is B. The man is sitting at the desk. So, you should mark letter B on the answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. The man's gripping a railing. B. The man's digging dirt out of a vase. C. The man's kneeling down. D. The man's watering some plants. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A woman is hiking up a hill. B. They are standing under a branch. C. A man is tightening a strap. D. They are raising their arms. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. He is loading a trunk with baggage. B. He is replacing a tire. C. He is opening a car door. D. He is unzipping a backpack. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The woman is stocking some jewellery. B. Folded garments are stacked in piles. C. A salesperson is showing customers an item. D. Some apparel is being ironed. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some seats are occupied in our courtyard. B. Chairs are positioned under umbrellas. C. Some leaves have fallen onto a patio. D. Steps lead into a swimming pool. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Carts are being pushed down a path. B. Cyclists are biking on a racetrack. C. Buildings border a street. D. A signboard has been attached to a gate. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. For each question, you will listen to a statement or question followed by three possible responses spoken in English. They will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. 
Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Whose eyeglasses are these? A. A new prescription. B. Classes are held weekly. C. They look like mirrors. Number eight. When will Unit Twenty Three be vacated? A. A lease for a rental space. B. The tenant moved out yesterday. C. In that apartment complex. Number nine. Where can I find a restaurant nearby? A. Washburn Cafe is at the end of the block. B. Just for a quick bite to eat. C. I was able to find my license. Number ten. You work at Riley Industries, don't you? A. That's correct. B. Her shift will be starting soon. C. No, I don't have those tools. Number eleven. Who told you about this art festival? A. One of my coworkers. B. It runs pretty late. C. My art teacher is from Spain. Number twelve. Where will actress Marie Lawson be signing autographs? A. She appeared in a television drama. B. You can write your name here. C. At the Guthrie Theatre. Number thirteen. Will you place an event program on each chair? A. Dr. Delahanty sitting in this row. B. The event was in Rome. C. I can do it in a minute. Number fourteen. Has Mr. Harrison forwarded you the memo about holiday bonuses? A. No, he never asked about the costumes. B. I just received it. C. It'll be shut down over the holidays. Number fifteen. The speech was very informative. Don't you think so? A. I'm giving one at five p.m. B. When will it most likely start? C. The lecturer was quite knowledgeable. Number sixteen. Is Crystal Spa still in business? A. Some of these business cards. B. We are here until June twenty fourth. C. You'll have to check its website. Number seventeen. This budget report seems to have some numerical errors. A. He works at a pharmaceutical company. B. Can you point them out to me? C. I am having a problem with my phone. Number eighteen. Haven't you already thrown out the garbage? A. An updated recycling policy. B. Park it in the garage. C. Only half of it. Number nineteen. The path to Mount Cape is this way. A. He's heading our way. B. With my hiking gear. C. Are you positive about that? Number twenty. What materials have been prepared for the trade fair? A. Someone else is handling that. B. The fares are reasonable. C. Yes, a booth has been reserved. Number twenty-one. How often are performance reviews held? A. 
Hold on, I'll give you a tour. B. The counters are washed every day. C. Usually once per year. Number 22. Which assignment should I prioritize next? A. Before I get home. B. I agree, you should. C. Please edit this press release. Number 23. The lounge area is located on the ground floor, isn't it? A. Yes, down the hall from the elevator. B. No, the floors have been mopped. C. The lounge is spacious. Number 24. Why are you returning this monitor? A. Keep monitoring the situation. B. I'm interested in something larger. C. Whenever you get back. Number 25. When will the company merger be officially announced? A. I have a question about the new regulation. B. With another manufacturing firm. C. At the shareholder meeting. Number 26. Does this cruise ship feature live entertainment? A. It's an entertaining radio program. B. This pamphlet should say. C. Passengers require boarding passes. Number 27. The spare bedroom needs to be cleaned out. A. Have James give you a hand. B. A double mattress. C. The kitchen looks clean to me. Number 28. Would you rather keep your reward points or use them for a room upgrade? A. Well, the banquet was rather long. B. Both resorts have views of the mountains. C. I'll save them for my next visit. Number 29. I can put in some overtime this evening. A. Go ahead and set them here. B. Patrick offered to make some desserts. C. Let's discuss the matter later this afternoon. Number 30. Would you like some milk in your tea as well? A. I ordered coffee. B. We provide tea and snacks to clients. C. I don't like the new menus. Number 31. How will we transport the furniture to the new office? A. Let's meet near the exit. B. They tested out the same chairs. C. It comes fully furnished. Part 3. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several conversations between two or more speakers. These conversations will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each conversation, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. By the way, an employee from the State Sanitation Department will be coming here to our electronics production facility tomorrow. He will inspect the waste management equipment. It'd be nice if you could give me a hand making sure there aren't any known issues with the machinery. Yeah, but I'm busy at the moment with repairing our conveyor belt, as you told me to do this morning. Just let me know as soon as you're free. I want to take care of everything today, since we won't have much time to get ready tomorrow morning. Number 32. Where most likely is the conversation taking place?
Number 33. According to the man, what did the speakers discuss this morning? Number 34. What problem does the woman mention? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Sujin. I'm about to head to Forest Cafe to buy coffee for our team. Would you like something too? Yes, I love the seasonal espresso drinks sold there. The pumpkin latte. I think that one was discontinued. It was being offered in the fall only. The cafe is advertising winter drinks now. Too bad. Well, I'll just have a cappuccino then. All right. And you recently mentioned you're on a diet, so should I ask if they can use low-fat milk instead of regular milk? That'd be great. Thanks so much. Number 35. What does the man offer to do? Number 36. What does the man mean when he says... I think that one was discontinued. Number 37. Why must a special request be made? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Our department is struggling to finalise the necessary financial reports for the upcoming shareholders' meeting. I'm sorry to ask on short notice, but can you work on them over the weekend? I'll be out of town from Saturday through next Tuesday. I'm visiting Charleston for my sister's birthday party. You approved my leave last month. Oh, that's right. We've been so busy lately that I completely forgot. In that case, I'll have to ask someone else from your team to do it. Try checking with Catherine Dawkins. Just last week, she said that she'd be open to working more overtime as she's saving money to go to Europe. Number 38. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 39. Why is the woman going out of town? Number 40. According to the woman, what is Catherine Dawkins willing to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Larry Bates. I ordered a textbook from your store two weeks ago, but it still hasn't arrived at my apartment. My order confirmation number is 42345. According to the tracking information, your book was delivered almost three days ago. However, the courier must not have brought it directly to your door since you didn't include a specific apartment number with the shipping information. Hmm, but I never saw the item by my complex's main door either. Why don't you talk to your building manager to find out whether the package is being held for you? Otherwise, you can get in touch with the courier service, Package Express. They may be able to help you. Number 41. What did the man do two weeks ago? Number 42. What does the woman say the man failed to provide? Number 43. What does the woman recommend? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I have a mobile service plan through your organization and I want to buy a new cell phone. I'd like to know if I qualify for any discounts. 
This month, customers can sell their phones to the store and put that money towards an upgrade. The deal applies to any newly released devices, including the Verso X3 and the Blade 4S. However, should you take advantage of this offer, the amount that you can receive depends on the condition of the phone you sell us. What a wonderful deal! Oh, and I was considering buying the Verso X3 anyway. Here's my device. I'm curious to know how much I can get for it. Number 44. What is the conversation mainly about? Number 45. What is mentioned about the Verso X3? Number 46. What will most likely happen next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. You're in charge of organizing tomorrow's architecture team gathering, correct? Yeah, I finalized all the activities that are going to take place. Those details will be included in the reminder email that I'll be sending to attendees before lunch. But why do you ask? Does anything need to be changed? Yes, actually. Helen's presentation on modern design is going to be longer than originally expected, so please allow her an extra 15 minutes. Also, Oliver will be unable to attend. He must give a consultation to an important client instead so we should remove him from the agenda entirely. No problem. I'll take care of those updates right now. Number 47. What is the woman in charge of? Number 48. Why will more time be allowed for Helen? Number 49. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Sophia. Do you know what the procedure for securing vacation time at our company is? It was changed not too long ago. Let me check my manual. Are you hoping to take some days off? Yes, February 21st to 25th. Okay, well, the handbook says you have to fill in a form on the Human Resources web page. Two days later, you'll receive a notification indicating whether your supervisor has approved the request. Where exactly is the form posted on the page? Just click on the Scheduling tab and you'll see it. However, several employees have already applied for time off toward the end of February, so it might not be approved. You should talk to your manager about this. Okay, I'll do that now. Thanks for your help. Number 50. How can employees secure time off? Number 51. According to the woman, why might the man's request be denied? Number 52. What will the man probably do next? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me. I'm hoping to learn more about your Chinese language classes, since many of my clients are based in China. Our course of business Chinese should be perfect for you. Oh, the instructor is coming down the hallway now. Jenny, can you provide some details about your class? Sure. We focus on expressions used in corporate settings. We meet twice weekly for two months. And the next course starts on June 2nd, this Friday. Hmm, two months. That'll be difficult for me, as I'm traveling to Hong Kong in July. In that case, there's another one starting in August. 
Yes, and you'll also be eligible for an advance registration discount if you enroll at our institute before July 10th. Great. I'll sign up for it now. Number 53. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 54. What information does Jenny provide? Number 55. What is the man eligible to receive? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Now that the Evergreen project is over, let's begin our next assignment. You mean creating the advertisement for the furniture shop? Uh, Redwood Home, right? Exactly. We first need to plan the concept for the TV commercial. Maybe we should concentrate on the business's selection of outdoor furniture. That's a good suggestion. Can you collaborate with Alyssa to put together a storyboard with that focus? Oh, Alyssa's at an off-site training session all day today about, um, digital media. So I'll get started on that by myself and continue with her when she returns to the office tomorrow. Number 56. What type of business do the speakers most likely work for? Number 57. What does the man suggest? Number 58. Why does the man say, Alyssa's at an off-site training session all day today. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Martinez, it's Philip Gray calling from Kerman and Associates. Have you had a chance to review the revised contract we sent you last week? Our legal team is taking a look at it now, Mr. Gray. They've told me most of the contract looks satisfactory, but some small changes will need to be made to the section on licensing fees. That sounds great. By the way, I heard that your corporation's soft drink, Orange Light, has become quite popular in Mexico ever since it was introduced this spring. Congratulations on the success thus far. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sales have definitely outperformed our expectations. We hope to make the most of the drink's popularity by continuing to expand distribution in the coming quarters. Number 59. Why does the man call the woman? Number 60. What does the woman say about the legal team? Number 61. Why does the man congratulate the woman? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. Ms. Lynch, I just checked the pharmacy's inventory and we're running low on cough medicine. I'm not surprised. We're entering the flu season and we've already had many people coming in to buy that. Should I contact the pharmaceutical manufacturers and place additional orders? Please do. Also, let's get extra pain relief drugs since our supply of that needs to be replenished too. I meant to order more last week, but forgot to. I'll do that. And as for the pain relief medicine, I'll get the one with the lowest per pill cost, as customers seem to prefer that brand. Number 62. What did the man already do? Number 63. Why is cough medicine in short supply?
Number 64. Look at the graphic. Which item will the man order? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Thanks for calling Tuscan Sun Excursions. What can I help you with today? Do you offer guided tours of art galleries around the area? I'm hoping to view some during my four-day trip here. Absolutely. Our art tour stops by the city's three major museums. It takes place twice daily and begins right outside our office on Truro Avenue. Oh, I'm actually hoping to browse smaller galleries. There's one at the intersection of Riviera Street and Fresco Road, um, just opposite the theatre downtown. Hmm, our company doesn't provide tours there, unfortunately. But I can give you the phone number of Complete Activities, another tourism firm in the area. They offer tours of those locations. Number 65. According to the man, how many art tours does Tuscan Sun Excursions operate daily? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Where most likely does the woman want to go? Number 67. What does the man offer to do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and label. This vending machine sells Dalton pretzels. They contain very little sugar and a lot of carbohydrates, so they're a great way to get a boost of energy. I'm going to buy some here in the terminal before we board our plane. Do you want a bag of them too? Although I'm getting a bit hungry, I'll pass. I've had those pretzels before. They're really tasty, but they include too much fat. I'm trying to be careful about what I eat at the moment. Oh, no worries. There are other options if you're interested. Nuts and dried fruit snacks. That's okay. We'll be receiving lunch once we take off, so I should be fine until then. Number 68. Where is the conversation most likely taking place? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Which ingredient amount is too high for the man? Number 70. What does the man say he will do? Part 4. Directions. In this part, you will listen to several short talks by a single speaker. These talks will not be printed and will only be spoken one time. For each talk, you will be asked to answer three questions. Select the best response and mark the corresponding letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. We've now reached what's probably the most famous painting in this museum's collection, The Flames of Clouds. It was created by Guido Mariano and is believed to date back to 1821. As you can see, the picture uses a combination of bright orange and yellow paint, which was quite uncommon at the time it was made. This innovative technique gained Mariano a lot of praise from fellow painters and art critics of his era. OK, let's move on and view some of our 20th century artworks. They're located in the next gallery at the end of the hallway. Please follow me. Number 71. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 72. According to the speaker, 
What is unusual about the flames of clouds? Number 73. What will listeners most likely do next? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Want to beat the hot weather? Stop by Stevie's Frozen Yogurt for a cold, refreshing treat. We offer 22 flavors such as vanilla, chocolate, peanut butter, and coffee. Moreover, we're the only frozen yogurt shop in town that allows customers to add as many toppings as they'd like for no additional charge. Be sure to check out our social media page, where we'll be holding promotions throughout July. There, you'll find a new deal featured daily, including amazing discounts and free items. You won't want to miss out on our incredible offers. Number 74. What type of business is being advertised? Number 75. According to the speaker, what distinguishes the company from its competitors? Number 76. Why should listeners visit the business's social media page? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? Tonight's performance of the award-winning play Miles to Home will begin in half an hour. I have some unfortunate news, though. Roberta Mendez was injured in rehearsal and therefore won't be performing tonight. She has been replaced by Tanya Wilkins. Information about this talented young actor is in the play's program. Just ask an usher for one of these booklets. And please note that snacks are no longer permitted in the auditorium during the performance. We received complaints about people eating during our last production, so we had to make some changes. Thank you for your cooperation. Number 77. Why is the speaker addressing the audience? Number 78. What can listeners obtain from a staff member? Number 79. What does the speaker imply when he says, We receive complaints about people eating during our last production. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following radio broadcast. Welcome to Top Science on WRP 101.5. I'm your host, Nina Esteban. As part of our ongoing podcast series on the impact of climate change, I've invited Dr. Lewis Matson from Fillmore College to the show. Dr. Matson teaches in the school's ecology department and just this Monday published a paper in a respected journal. The paper examines the rise of sea levels along the United States coastline as a result of melting glaciers. Throughout today's program, our guest is going to discuss his findings and respond to a few critiques that his research has received. Dr. Matson, do you mind starting by outlining the results of your research? Number 80. What is Dr. Matson's area of expertise? Number 81. According to the speaker, what was released on Monday? Number 82. What is mentioned about Dr. Matson? Go on to the next page. Number 
Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. One last thing. I want to discuss the product testing for our upcoming lipstick line. We posted an advertisement seeking paid test subjects to participate in the research, and, well, now we've got a problem. A lot more people than we need signed up. I don't want to turn anyone away, though. Instead, let's see if they'd be willing to take part in other studies. I just spoke to our research manager, Beth Mayers, and she told me that more people are needed to test some eye makeup that we're developing. She's going to reach out to those who applied to see whether they'd be open to trying those products instead. Number 83. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, I don't want to turn anyone away, though. Number 85. What will Beth Mayers most likely do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following introduction. I'd like you all to meet Ivan Schwartz. Mr. Schwartz is the head application developer at our company's Vienna branch, and he has travelled to Liverpool to undergo training with our IT department. While here, he will be shown how to operate the data collection programme that we will be rolling out across all of our branches in March. As you all know, the programme is quite complicated, which is why we've asked Mr Schwartz to travel here and work with our staff in person rather than virtually. Please be sure to make him feel welcome over the next five days and answer any questions that he may have. OK, that's all for now. Number 86. What is Ivan Schwartz's occupation? Number 87. According to the speaker, what will Ivan Schwartz do? Number 88. What are listeners asked to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Carol. I just called to thank you for asking me to attend your dinner party on Saturday. It was great to see you and some of the other people from our neighborhood. Um... One of your guests mentioned that she ran an interior design firm. If I remember correctly, her name was, uh, Kathy Turner. Could you give me her contact information? I'm going to remodel my kitchen, and I need the services of a professional designer. Also, before I forget, I just received word that the community center will no longer provide transportation for its summer program. Your children are enrolled in classes there as well, right? Maybe we can take turns driving them each day. Let me know if you're interested in doing that. Number 89. Why does the speaker thank the listener? Number 90. What does the speaker imply when she says, Could you give me her contact information? Number 91. What problem is mentioned? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following radio broadcast. According to a recent press conference held by the city's mayor, Shenzhen will be launching a major campaign to attract foreign businesses. A local publicity firm has created the campaign, which focuses on the city's low corporate tax rates and large labor market. Moreover, it draws attention to how Shenzhen's growing population offers an excellent consumer base for multiple enterprises. Although Shenzhen is already well known among Chinese entrepreneurs, 
Officials feel the city has yet to reach its full business potential. They are optimistic that the campaign will generate more attention from international companies, as well as increase tourism in the region. For further information about the campaign or to view any of its promotional materials, you can visit www.shenzhenbusiness.gov.cn. Number 92. What is the purpose of the report? Number 93. According to the speaker, what does Shenzhen possess? Number 94. What do officials think about Shenzhen? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and form. My name is Miranda Cruz, and I'm calling regarding Elegant Fashion Magazine. About a week ago, I was emailed a subscription renewal form for the publication. At the time, I signed up for a year-and-a-half subscription. However, I learned yesterday that I'll be traveling to France in December for a work project. Since the length of my stay in the country is open-ended, I, uh, I can only commit to a one-year subscription to the magazine. Of course, I would like the amount I overpaid to be returned to me. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 555-2197. Number 95. What does the speaker plan to do in December? Number 96. Look at the graphic. How much does the subscription the speaker is interested in cost? Number 97. What does the speaker request? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and graph. May I have everyone's attention? I've got a quick announcement to make before the Eastern Hills National Park opens today. The number of shuttle buses will increase next month. Specifically, buses will run from the main parking lot to the Cold Bridge National Monument every 20 minutes instead of every 30. We will resume our regular schedule at the end of the peak season. Uh, the month in which we usually receive less than 10,000 visitors. I also wanted to remind you about the special lectures that will be held at the Information Centre. Each week, a different expert will discuss an aspect of the park's history. Um, Brenda Kirk did a great job of organising this program, so make sure to tell visitors about it. Number 98. How often will buses run beginning next month? Number 99. Look at the graphic. When will the regular shuttle bus service most likely resume? Number 100. What is mentioned about Brenda Kirk? Number 